LEGO introduced the modern minifigure as we know it back in 1978. Since then, we've seen billions upon billions of characters, both trademarked and imaginary, come to life. They are a staple of the LEGO brand, and I'm sure you've bought at least one lame vehicle set just to get that one exclusive superhero minifigure that you can't obtain anywhere else. Hi, I'm Glenn with the Toy Temple, and these are my top 10 favorite minifigures. A few rules. Only one character from each theme. It would be boring for both you and me to include three Chima characters, and that's just not fun for anybody, because Chima was terrible. Animals, dragons, big figs, those are all excluded. They aren't the same mold as the classic minifigure, and so they don't count. You won't see the Hulk or any horses on this list. Finally, if I don't own the minifigure, then it can't be on the list. Mr. Gold is a very rare, very expensive figure, but I don't own it, and never will own it, so it can't be ranked. Honorable mention goes to the Collector from Comic Con 2014. It didn't make the cut because I never play with it. It's, for lack of a less ironic term, a collector's item. Also, this is a Marvel minifig, and again, I only allowed myself one minifig per theme. Number 10 on our list is none other than this guy. You have no idea who this is, but remember those imaginary characters I talked about earlier? This is one of them. He is the sole survivor from my old LEGO collection before I entered into my dark ages, gave it all away, and fell out of love with LEGO. He is the ruler of our little LEGO town, and carries a lightsaber, because wouldn't you? He represents all of the hodgepodge LEGO minifigures out there, where a swapped head or torso can mean a new job or life for one little plastic friend. Series 9 of the collectible minifigure series introduced this orange and white robot warrior named Battle Mech. Flying high above judges, warriors, and mermaids, he looks like a Megazord from Power Rangers. I'm a sucker for cool, old-looking robots, and this is no exception. The armor and helmet are well-crafted, the sleek head print doesn't have a face, so it makes him even more cold and robotic. He doesn't come with an accessory in the bag because... Why should he when he can blast you with his imaginary laser beams that come straight from his eyes? Battle Mech is exactly what I want when it comes to out-of-this-world characters. If you kissed this next minifigure right on the forehead, you'd swear it was just like kissing a peanut. Coming in at number 8 is Hans Mole Man from the Simpsons Collectible Minifigures Series 2. I find it so endearing that a character like Hans Mole Man can become a minifigure. No matter who it is, as long as LEGO has the rights, they can make serious magic with the brand. I love that he comes with a voided driver's license 2 by one plate and has those short, stubby legs. The Simpsons in LEGO form is a slam dunk. Yellow people molded to look like other yellow people? That's easy money. I couldn't decide which cold pun I wanted here, but chill out because number 7 on our list is Commander Cold from Ice Planet 2002. Never before had orange transparent visors, skis, and chainsaws been done by LEGO, and really how did we ever get by without them? He's a gruff, older spaceman that fights Blacktron on the cold, harsh planet known as Christo. He comes equipped with his white breathing tanks, helmet, skis, ice planet uniform, and orange transparent chainsaw. He doesn't have the classic two dots and a line smiley face that most figures at the time had. He's an angrier, colder figure. He's the leader. He's seen the horrors of war and it's taken its toll on him. The white beard and eyebrows show that he's been on the planet for some time without a hot shower and shave. This figure is one of the most well-designed figures LEGO has ever made. Commander Cold is best known for the set Deep Freeze Defender, which in its own right is also one of the greatest sets of all time. But that's for another video. You've probably seen this next minifigure before in at least one of the six themes or seven LEGO video games that feature him. Part-time archaeologist and full-time adventurer, this is Johnny Thunder. Before there was LEGO Indiana Jones, we had Johnny. He brought adventure and cunning to our lives in the late 90s. He traveled from Egypt to the Amazon, making time to stop by Dino Island and even had a cameo in the LEGO movie. The reason I love Johnny Thunder is because when LEGO gets designs right, they get them right. Johnny is a testament that you don't always need outside licensing to win the hearts of LEGO fans. Just an unbuttoned shirt with just a little bit of yellow chest showing. Often confused with Merlin, Magisto might be one of the earliest minifigures to have an actual name. Debuting in the year 1993, he was a favorite of the Castle and Dragon Masters lines. Magisto's torso piece is a blue shirt and a black belt with a small magic dust tied to it. His standard smiley face head is accompanied by a white beard and blue pointed hat. He comes equipped with a glow-in-the-dark wand and spell scroll. 
Best known from the aptly named set Magisto's Tower, which features a small magical workshop, two stories, a cart, two knights, and several big ugly rock pieces, as a child this was the basis for several of my childhood castles, and that roof piece is so unique, it only appeared in three sets ever. Magisto worked his magic to be on this list and it's well deserved. With his unique look and stylish hat, he was a true icon of the 90s castle series. Even though his production run would only span three years, he left his mark as the must-have wizard of the LEGO world. LEGO Star Wars has at least three different versions of each character, but this next minifigure has only been made once, and that might be all we get. Darth Revan comes from the critically acclaimed video game Knights of the Old Republic, which debuted in 2003. Eleven years after that, Darth Revan came into the LEGO world via Polybag for the May the 4th Be With You promotion. Revan comes equipped with hood, cape, and red lightsaber. His mask, being Mandalorian in origin, is a beautiful print. The torso and legs are printed as well, and are picture perfect to the character. As a Jedi leader of the Republic Army, Revan was determined to destroy the Mandalorians. Once he accomplished that goal, he and his forces saved countless worlds at the price of his own morals. He became a Sith, and that's where the game begins. Darth Revan is from one of my favorite games of all time, so it wasn't hard to cherry pick Revan above all the others. Try him with mustard, ketchup, relish, or sauerkraut, it's Hot Dog Man! The first of several food-style collectible minifigures. He has a plain tan torso with yellow hands, plain sky blue legs, and a smiling face. The hot dog piece slips over his head to complete the one-of-a-kind look to make this minifigure an instant classic. Sure, they've made banana and corn minifigures, but hot dog is already a funny food. He's the perfect amount of silly in, in our LEGO city. We have maybe five or six of them. Also, I'm pretty sure if they wanted to, they could start a small gang and rule the town with an iron bun. Just don't let them find out where exactly hot dogs are made. Released in 2016 as a LEGO Marvel's Avengers pre-order bonus, Silver Centurion Iron Man became a must-have. I first knew of Iron Man from the West Coast Avengers, a subsection of the actual Avengers. The team featured heavy-hitting blockbuster characters like Mockingbird, Tigra, and Wonder Man. The suit from the polybag features a distinctive silver and red color scheme, as well as an additional armor piece that fits over his neck, giving him a bulkier frame. Arm printing, printing on the front and sides of the legs, detailed armor printing underneath the one-of-a-kind Lego armor on both the front and back of the torso, this figure is art. I always liked the idea that he had all these suits for specific purposes like a superhero Swiss Army knife. Silver Centurion is one among dozens of other Iron Man suits from LEGO, but as far as history and look go, it's hard to do much better. Finally, we've reached number one and for me the list changed at least 20 times, but the number one spot always held firm, and it belongs to LEGO Batman. LEGO Batman is what brought me back into the LEGO mix, and I couldn't be more grateful to it. There are so many variations and versions of the character, it's hard to narrow down which to choose to talk about. Heck, it could even be its own list. But for this list, I'm sticking with LEGO Movie Batman. Voiced by Will Arnett in the 2017 movie, this Batman movie featured the most villains ever. Classic rogues, such as King Kong, Voldemort, and Sauron. With his black suit, yellow bat symbol, removable belt, cloth cape, and molded cowl, he looks just like Michael Keaton from the first Batman film. This is the definitive Batman minifigure, and I'm not sure they could make one much better than this. Lego is a hobby I share with my wife. We love to build, and through that bond, we play and create together. And it's all thanks to one little plastic man dressed like a bat. If you thought this top 10 was tops, give us a like and click that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at the Toy Temple. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.